This was a footpath to the beach until this winter, when a storm lashed away 13 metres of the coast. And with every storm, the ocean is creeping closer to homes at Wanarup. Anne and Barry Faithful say they've lost 60 metres of their property to the sea in 15 years, with most taken in the last two. When we moved here, there were three very large sand dunes and the last one was taken away with this very last storm that we had. So that now becomes a little bit frightening. The design of Port Geograph caused tonnes of rotting seaweed to build up on the western beach creating a costly clean-up each year. When the developers walked away, the state government stepped in and spent $28 million to reconfigure the groins. That's now completed and the seaweed is starting to move away. And that's the first time that's happened naturally in about 15 years, so very encouraging signs. But the erosion to the east at Wanarup remains. Some of the sand is now starting to collect, but it will take time. The Department of Transport has told residents it will wait until after the post-winter storms next month before deciding if further sand is needed. But residents fear that could be too late. We're now into spring tides. If we get a big storm and from the right angle at a high tide, this, the whole area could be gone and it really is that desperate. The last $3 million of the reconfiguration funding is being spent on landscaping a picnic area. Residents say half a million of that should be spent on bringing in enough sand to finish the job properly. Roxanne Taylor, ABC News, Port Geograph.